Jeff, Arizona Hat Homestead. Today we're going to grommet. So I'll show you how I do some grommeting. Grommeting is fantastic to use for your tarps, as well as even shade fabric, you know, garden fabric stuff. Um, it's a great way to put some grommets in some key places to help you just strap it onto something so you don't actually have to permanently attach it. You can just strap it on and use the grommets to help hold it. So let me show you how I grommet. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I grommeted this garden fabric so that I can use these grommets to help hold the fabric up for shade or or to help um, block the sun and uh, as it sets or whatever. Um, but basically, I'm I'm making one of these up for uh, for Contra's little area, so that when I'm not home, he uh, has a place to go and outside and do his thing. But I also wanted to protect him from um, from the sun, really keep the heat off of him during the summer months. But also, I learned that this fabric, when snow actually hits this fabric, it doesn't go through the fabric at all. It actually hits it, you know, cake up on it a little bit and just slide off. So it keeps his little area dry so that he can do his thing, basically, and he's not tromping around in mud. So basically, this video, again, is just to show you how I'm doing these grommets. And as you can see, the grommets aren't perfect, but they work uh they work pretty good first off what i like to do is i'm going to just do one of them for you to show you but basically i like to fold them over and and put the grommets on like this one here is a corner so i got both sides folded there this one here is just a side and i just have it folded over so i'll fold it over a little bit i always try to leave a little bit maybe half inch ish or something like that around here but what's nice about these grommets is you can use them for for the garden fabric. I apologize for the wind there. It's getting a little windy here. I use them for the garden fabric. Um, you can also use them for um, for uh, your your tarps. So if you have to regrommet your tarps, or maybe you have a tarp and the and the grommets on the tarp isn't where you want, well, this is a way to do it. So see how well I'm showing it here for you guys so like I said I'm going to fold it about like say doesn't have to be utterly perfect and then on the other side if I'm doing just on this side this is all I would do but in this corner I'm going to fold this guy around so I've got basically a nice square right in here then the, these grommets come with some tools and this here's the cutter. This here is a little sharper end. You can see some of the garden fabric inside. I've been beating it with a hammer. Then there's also this guy here, this guy here, and then your grommets. And I'll show you exactly how all that works. But first, let's take this tool. You want to have a board that you can basically destroy. As you can see here, I've already dug into it with the tool. And what you want to do basically is hit it pretty hard. So watch the camera jump when I do this. Now when I do that, sometimes I'll wiggle it around just to help cut whatever is in there. But I'm going to try to hold this in place because I don't want it to move on me. I don't want it to shift. Then I break out this bottom tool here. I don't even know what these are called, but I'll break this out. Then I take a, there's two pieces to the grommets. This one here is, looks like say, you set him like that. And then the other half is this guy here. Which one's the top and bottom? I have no idea. And then I carefully pick it up and I slide it so that that piece fits right in there. Let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. You 
You see how it just sits there? And then this, I don't know how well it's coming out, but there is a, um, looks like it's got a little bit of curvature, a little bit of concavity to it. I've used it both ways and it seems to work. So I'm going to just slip it on here. So I'll push it on that thing. Then this device here, this guy here goes into the hole. And then I hold it down, and then I bang on it. And watch the uh, watch the camera jump around a little bit on you there. So you just hammer it a few times, hammer it really hard, obviously don't want to miss and hit your fingers, and then when you're done, it sandwiches the pieces together, and now you've just done a grommet. And then a bag of grommet, grommets, they come, I don't have the bag, but they come with multiple pieces, and uh, but these cutting tools are pretty cool. This guy here. But that's all there is to it. To setting a uh, grommet. And that makes it easier for your tarps. It makes it easier for your garden fabric. Shade stuff. Um, and anything else that you want to do. They do also have plastic ones. For mainly for your tarp, your uh, lightweight tarps and plastics. This is what I use on this kind of stuff and it works great. And the finished product looks a lot like this. So a grommet, I just did instead of a, a string or a rope or bungee, I just used wire. But I've got it every so often all the way down through here. Keeps it kind of nice and tight. We got some going down here. We got some obviously down there. The bottom I didn't put as many, but I've got one on each end here that's not wired yet. I got one right there that's not wired. That end is wired. This one's wired, and that one's wired. But as you can see though, how it makes a nice, pretty good fit all the way around. You can still see through it, because it's just that garden shade fabric stuff. I call it garden fabric. Get it at your local hardware store. Comes in a roll of like 6 feet by, who knows, 25, 50 plus feet. And when you put grommets on... You can do just about anything with it. Thank you for watching my video today. If you liked the video, give it that good old thumbs up thing and share the video with others. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click on this over here to subscribe and check out my other videos over here. I love reading your comments, so if you haven't made a comment, go ahead and do so. My name is Jeff, and you've been watching Arizona Hot Homestead.